could these be the most talked about golf ball of 2030. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about pretty much the biggest news to come out of the golfing world since maybe John Ram gonna live. But we are talking about the golf ball rollback. The USGA have now said they are gonna roll back the golf ball in 2030 to not go as far. And I got these golf balls sent from a subscriber. You can see we have a couple of Pro V ones and a couple of top flight Z Bellata 90s. So this could be pretty much the golf ball we will all end up using moving forward in 2030. We're gonna play with them today, see just how they perform. We're gonna test them against the Pro V1, both inside and outside, and see potentially where we might end up being with the golf ball rollback. We're also gonna have our discussions, our opinions on them, because personally, I think it's a terrible idea. I think there's a lot more we could be doing in golf, putting our time and money towards other things. And I'm gonna put this out there as well. I don't think it's gonna happen. I think there's too much money involved. There's too many big corporations involved. And I can't see it personally happening. Let's get teed off. We're gonna play a couple of holes here at Wally Park Golf Club. We have an extra special guest on the channel today. Gaz, how are you? I'm great, thanks. What are your thoughts on these? These are like around 20 years old. So this is about where the USGA want to take it. And these could end up being quite expensive, couldn't they? Yeah. What are your thoughts? I mean, this takes me back to my junior days. Yeah, these were the ball to have, weren't they? Yeah. Back in the day, top flight Z Bellata. We're going to cut these open at the end of this video, compare them to the Pro V1 internally, and see maybe where the big brands might have to go with the new golf balls as well, because it's not every day that a big, huge golf company gets told, you know what, rein it in. Well, I think the ball's coming a lot over the 20 years and we don't give it enough credit. No. So I think we could all have a big shock when this rollback, you know, obviously takes effect. Right, mate. We're going to start on the second hole here at Woolley Park Golf. We've already had a little bit of a match today. We'll not tell you. You don't need to know who won the... <laughs> Go on, mate. I'll let you get teed off. Is this a match, Gaz, or is it a... Yeah, why not? Why not? A match that's from the past, but also the future, we could say. That is a gorgeous strike and a lovely ball flight. Sounded incredibly hard. Yeah. Straight down the middle of the fairway, That's mate. That's not gone anywhere near my normal distance. No, and that it actually sounds like a good strike as well. Yeah. This is one of the things that I will be interested to see what happens. How will they go about reining the ball back? I don't think it's as easy as maybe the USJ think it will be, but also will it take away the pleasure of a good feeling and sounding golf ball? Because if it does, that's going to really upset quite a lot of golfers. I'm going to try and take the corner on here. Probably about 10% difference you'd think they'll be with this. I'll throw some numbers on the screen later in this video because I'm going to test them inside. If we don't lose them all, Gaz, there's that. That sounded good. Again, lovely flight, lovely strike to me. It's gone nowhere. I mean, it's, it was okay. We'll not say it's gone nowhere. <laughs> but to me there, the ball didn't spend as long in the air. It's dipped out a little bit. And these golf balls are knocking on 20 years old. So there is the effect of maybe the golf ball being a little bit older, which is why it might feel different and perform different. But looking at these two balls together, very interesting to see how the dimple patterns have changed over the years. And also very interesting to see how even the paints changed over the years as well. One looks a lot more premium than the other. And how will these huge brands cope with being told no more to being the longest ball you can make. So as you can imagine guys, marketing around golf balls has been around since the dawn of time. And you can see here that even on the top flight Z Bellata 90, it had cut proof guarantee. We'll, we'll find out about that with the cutter. <laughs> um, it also had tour proven performance and improved for softer feel and distance. It even says now even softer, and it has the top flight guarantee, one longest drive. Oh, it's got the, Chicopee. So interestingly, Chicopee is where the Calaray ball plant is as well. So I wonder if that's... Uh... Was that one of like the top balls at the time then? Yeah. Was it? Yeah, yeah, it absolutely. Yeah. So it. this is this is pre-Pro V1, this is bad it? boy. Yeah. And this is where we could end up going with the new ball. Now, regards to the rollback, I've already kind of said what I think. I personally don't think it'll happen. I think they might find a middle ground by changing the driver or something else instead. Where do you stand with it, guys? Get in the comments below and let me know. Are you for it? Are you against it? Do you not care at all? And what happens to all the old golf balls? Because we had this discussion yeah. just yesterday. Do they go and find, do they recycle them? Because obviously the environment is so important nowadays. It always has been, but it's now more kind of to the forefront of people's minds. You can't just go and throw away a billion golf balls. There's got to be billions, haven't there? Yeah, so will you get some money maybe by trading in your old golf balls? 
then the companies will melt them down and so on and so forth or do you just throw them away and what happens if you find an old ball and then use it and you're dq would i'll tell you what you've just come up with a right marketing plan for Ooh, the one at brands get rich quick trading policy <laughs> right guys your three wood's gone absolutely nowhere <laughs> i know could be another three wood in i think <laughs> Do you know where I stand on this? Go on. I find it's a little bit of a disadvantage for people who are training to hit it further. Yeah. Because it's not a across the board reduction in distance for everyone. It's not like everyone loses 15 yards. It's like is a it? percentage, isn't it's it? It's a percentage. So the, the better you are and, and the more like athletic and further you can hit it, the more of a disadvantage you're at. But I suppose then you could say you're still hitting it further than the others, just a little bit less further than the others, you I could know, say. But it's just. I don't, I think you should never punish the better player for yeah. being better. Yeah. I don't know, maybe people disagree on that, but. I'll be really interested to see how they do it. Will they do it via aerodynamics? Will they do it via maybe the core of the ball or something else? Because the golf brands are very, very clever. They have scientists that are way cleverer than most of us, to be honest, and they'll find another way maybe of getting distance out of that golf ball. That's what I personally think. I ain't got any distances. I've got 12 there's lasers one, at all. There's a 150, I've not got one in my bag. There's a 150 marker there, mate. I mean, another thing as well, we're doing this ball rollback because, finish yeah. that question, because people are hitting it too far. People are, the, the USGA are wanting to bring old golf courses back onto major rotors. Well, what about the new golf courses that people have spent billions of dollars on to get onto major rotors? Are they now just kind of not in the urethra of the golfing world at all? I don't, I, I don't really get it. For me, it reeks of somebody at the USGA who wants to leave a legacy of themselves. And this might not be the case. I might be totally wrong here, but I think it's someone who's wanting to make a name for themselves. Leave our game alone and work on getting it more inclusive. Work on getting people into the game making it a little bit maybe more enjoyable, God forbid, because that's why we all do it. Make the game easy, not yeah. bloody harder. Yeah, Bryson should never have hit that driver at Bay Hill, should he? <laughs> <laughs> well, you got seven. Yeah. Oh, that's bad. This is a good strike, it's just out to the right a bit. Not your, um, not your best, mate. No. I mean, though, isn't it? That it, is make, it will make the game harder for newer golfers. You can find yourself going on a bit of a rant, and I don't want this video to be that. I want it to be an open discussion, and I do feel like these balls represent potentially what the new ball might well be. So interesting. I mean, it wasn't distance, it was your problem there. You just kind of left the face open a little bit. But if I was to, I should have really hit a Pro V1 down here. We'll maybe do that on the next hole, and I will hit some balls inside for this video as well, just to show you guys the differences we are seeing in numbers. But for now, all I'm seeing is a virgin green and potentially going one up, guys. <laughs> but I've not got a range finder either. And this is where the new ball might not have as much of a difference because if it's a percentage difference, saying that, you could still you lose kind of 13 yards, couldn't you? So it's going to be a club difference. So maybe it is eight. Oh, we're all people put roll back down that bank in there. Yeah, I know you were, mate. <laughs> I'm thinking he's not going to try and help me, is he? We are placing, aren't we? So I'll give that a clean. That looked all over it as well, didn't it? That was your first bit of rollback. Oh. How many people will find a disadvantage? Rory came out and said, didn't he, that it's not going to affect the average golfer. I would still class me and Gaz as average golfers. We're PGA professionals, but still can play quite erratic golf. Who is it actually going to affect? Because the one thing I didn't want to happen as well, I didn't want different balls for pros, different balls for amateurs. The beauty about our game is we can rock up to St Andrews, play off the same tees, with the flags in the same positions, with the same equipment. Now, if you take that away, I think it massively hurts the game. So they're not doing that, which I think is great. And the argument for it, you could say, is you look at the game of tennis, they rolled back the tennis ball, didn't they? Because it was too fast. So why not do it in golf? There are kind of arguments for different areas here. So I'd love to know your opinions, guys. That was, I can't believe them. I honestly thought that I was going to nestle next to the flag and I was going to turn around and give you that one. <laughs> Did you? It was looking good. Ah. Right, we have my ball down the bottom of the slope. Gaz is out here on the right hand side. Is this Not a... great golf, mate, at the moment for us. No. Is it a two wall vlog? Three. Three. Got to change how aggressive you're going to be. Well, just, just need to know. That is lovely. What a lovely golf shot that is, mate. Cheers. Well done. Felt clicky, didn't it? Sounded yeah. clicky. 
Still got a bit of spin now. Yeah. From the older ball. Right, get inside that. Oh, great shot. Has it gone a bit past? Oh, that must have had some spin on it because I thought that was going past. Yeah, it stopped pretty quick. Do you want to go good good on winter greens? I'm happy to take good good. Sound. Right, first hole halved. And I think it's fair to say the distance of that golf ball probably had a little bit of an effect on the hole because we're a bit further back than maybe we would have been normally. Yeah. I think it's fair to say our lack of preparation probably also had something to do with that because neither of us have a rangefinder with us. But Gaz just had a really interesting point that, so you got fitted for a driver last week. Yeah, I've been fitted for a new driver. It's cost me a bloody fortune. Yeah. Uh, but we're just saying about the numbers, weren't we? I've been fitted with a new golf ball. I've got optimal numbers now with a new golf ball. When, the, when this newer golf ball's released, where's that gonna leave me? Yeah. It's almost like, are all the new golf clubs that are coming out, are they going to be tested with potentially like a prototype new ball? Yeah. Or will all the manufacturers have to wait for the new ball to come out and then be like, actually, it doesn't launch the same. We're going to change the weighting in the clubs. We're going to change the launch angle, maybe even the lofts of the clubs, because this new ball performs better with a different loft. Be really interesting. It could Great affect point. club sales. You know, in the last two years before obviously the new ball comes out, yeah. we might just wait for the, you know, the ball to be launched, and then the the new range of clubs that have been tested with a new ball i think it'll be really interesting to see not only club sales but also ball sales i think it'll be interesting to see participation levels as well because i just don't think like golf's in a very strange place at the moment isn't it with everything that's going on i don't think it's in a negative place but it's in a, a transitional place and probably the last thing we needed is oh by the way we're going to change the golf ball you all use and like for such a, a marginal maybe loss well, I think it's the first time in history that the golf balls ever took a backward step into it. Yeah, it probably is, mate, to be fair. I mean, we changed driver CORs, didn't we? We changed uh, grooves, I believe, in wedges and irons, and now we have the ball. So let's just keep making it harder and harder. Why not? <laughs> I mean, it's not like people are shooting a million under, is it? In, no. I don't know. Uh, I'll let you have the honour, mate. Oh, cheers. Cheers. I think a good point to probably get in after this as well is that because the ball's taking a backward step, I think there could be something in actually keeping a few dozen of these as collectibles. You know, yeah. It's a better performing ball. Can we just discuss that this is a game we're playing with an old ball and Gaz has just chucked a Pro V1 down there as though it's no one's business? Where's me? Where's me? Have you got it? <laughs> Cheat. <laughs> <laughs> So well, let's go a Pro V1 and let's go one of these and let's see which one we get closer. Hey, I'll tell you what though, people will be doing that after ball change, won't they? Yeah, yeah. They're not going to admit that they're playing, that we're not all going to know what's an old and new ball. Should we go worst ball, Gaz? You hit one with each. Go on then, yeah. Go on then. Ooh, that's all over it, a bit skinny, but, or was it skinny? Was it just the ball? Uh, I think it were probably a bit skinny. Let's... It will be interesting, actually. Right, so Pro V. Oh. Well, you got a wedge? Yeah. Oh, that flight's a lot yeah, higher. Yeah, immediately it? it sounded better. It's flown a bit higher. Yeah, more If you're spinier, saying the straw's good, that's all over that's it. That's not the flag out. I'm going to try and caress a little mid-iron. I'm not going to tell you guys what ball's which, and I want you to try and guess which is which. Because one of the things you don't want to lose as well is the ability to pick a trajectory that you want. Like distance is one thing, but workability is a total other one, isn't it? Shot. Oof, that's all over it, that's, isn't it? That's good. Can we hit the same again? Straight away a bit higher, the winds took it a bit more. Felt like a similar swing, that one from Mr. Green to the left. Guys, which one did you think was which? I'll tell you in three, two, one. The first one was quite clearly the Pro V1. It was a little bit easier to keep down. And because of that, he stayed under the tree line. The wind hasn't hit it. It's quite a big difference there. Is this gonna be part of the ball rollback or is it gonna be primarily ball speed and distance? I'm Mr. Green there, mate. <laughs> Does a hole in one count if you're playing worse ball? <laughs> Just asking for a mate. Imagine, you'd be gutted, it, wouldn't you? It could be. It could, we could have got an hole in one, yeah. So another really interesting debate is how are they going to do the rollback? Are they going to limit the layers of a golf ball? Because obviously TaylorMade have the TP5, which is a five-piece ball. Titleist probably wants a three-piece ball. So it would kind of affect the brands differently, wouldn't it? That wouldn't really be fair. And you can see the shots we've got here. A couple of really good ones. It'd be interesting if 
the worst balls of both the top flight. Well, I mean, yeah, it would be actually. I mean, is that down to the ball? Is that down to us? Maybe a bit of both. Mine's certainly the worst one is the top flight. I think mine is, you know. I think that's mine on the right. Yeah, it is. I can see it, it is, here. Yeah. Straight away, a bit of a disadvantage, maybe. I don't think there's a coincidence in that. No. I felt, you know, better flight I with Pro V. I, yeah, I could definitely control that flight better than that flight. Distances are the same. But like I said, trajectory was totally different. Roll this in and make him think. Oh, it was tracking. Oh, bang on line, wasn't it? It was bang on line. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's winter, mate. We're not going to be able to cut the greens in a while. The course has been open, actually, and they've done amazingly well to keep it open. So huge kind of props to John and the boys here. A lot of courses are closed at the minute. Gaz is paying this one some attention. Oh, lovely. Well done, mate. On to the last, where it should be a drivable par four, depending on what ball we use. Okay, so we played worst ball off the tee there. This next hole should be drivable. It's into the wind, so it's going to be interesting to see how these balls react into the wind. Should we play worst ball, uh, better ball off the tee here? Because we've done worst ball, haven't we? Better Gives us a ball. chance so we to. We both play from his best. We've, yeah. We both hit and we both play from that spot. That's best ball, I believe. Yeah, I'm good with that. So that gives us a chance to open the shoulders up and try and attack this drivable green. Because that for me is what golf's about. It's about having fun, it's about attacking golf courses and enjoying it. Who prefers the US Open? when level par wins and who prefers the US Open when like 20 under wins over four rounds. I think I prefer a birdie fest. I do. I to prefer watch. it. I get a bit bored me when it's just, yeah. I prefer to see birdies and big changes in, you know. Right, wind to tee, which is perfect. It opens up even more for us on that angle. So the green guys is about there. On line with that. Anything right of that's dead, anything left of that is a bit soft. Which ball is this? Are you telling us or not? This is top flight. Are we eating both balls? Yeah. Sorry. This is top flight. Oh, I don't think that's going to get over. I'll be amazed if it does. I'll be amazed yeah. if it, because it was a bit low, wasn't it? You watch these balls be worth a fortune now and Gaz is uh, <laughs> shedding them. I can't wait to cut it open and see just what the differences are on these. We'll do that on this green and we'll talk numbers from the studio as well. I've ne uh, that's not a shot I hit that. I think if I'd have hit that shot with a normal ball, it would have gone higher. Yeah, I think, there, yeah, golf balls are easy to launch now, it, it certainly. It were bottomy, but if I'd have known that that tra trajectory of bottomy shot, I wouldn't have gone over at corner. Pressure's on now, mate, isn't it? Nice, that's definitely there. That's got a chance. That was actually a similar swing, just a higher ball flight. Yeah. Great shot, that. Again, I'm not going to tell you guys. I'm going to just hit them and see if you can work out which is which. Not sure. Not sure. That's touch and go, just like Gaza's first one was. Pressure's on. Yeah. That's just safe, isn't it? So I the first ball there was a Pro V1. Second one, I probably didn't try and take the same line in case I lose the ball for the match. But again, the Pro V1 was a lot higher, as you can see in the ball flight, and the older ball certainly a lot lower. I was just about to say it. That were a flat ball flight. Yeah. And, you know, you struck it well. well. I think that's going to be my best one, mate. It's only just made the corner as well. It wasn't something I could really go after. I think the first one's dead. I think the Pro V1's dead. I'll tell you what it will do. It'll make seniors buy new balls, won't it? You know, all, all seniors that never buy a ball. Yeah. Because they've got loads in cupboard. What, so what will you, what will people do with their old balls? Will you, I mean, obviously we've got a lot of time to plan for this and prepare for it. They're saying 2030, aren't they? What happens to ball sales in 2029? I, I think they could become collectible because the, the old ball's going to be like higher performing than the new ball. Yeah. So maybe people like, I think they could become valuable and collectible. Yeah, interesting point. Personally. Right, we have two balls in play. Interesting, I think your better one's the Pro V1, is it? Yeah. Mine's the top flight. I'm nearly up with you, mate, with top flight. <laughs> Into the window, so maybe that lower ball flight helped. Yeah. 
What is that? That is so average. Mate, that's a birdie putt for you. So average. You're trying to lead me into false sense of security with that. Flag high, just pulled it. 20 yard left almost. Right, big, big match. Big point in the match. Well, it's not that far away, is it, that? It's a birdie putt. It's a chance, one. mate, That's isn't it? Need, and I've seen all of And the thing there. is, I'll probably put him first, won't I? You'd think you'll get inside that. Oh. Oh. I'll replace it. Oh, go on. That's poor. Poor, but I think it's inside mine. Or is it? <laughs> this is big. I just hope I've got a free roll at this. I'd give anything for a free roll at it. No real alignment aid on the top flight either, which doesn't really help. It's all about the ball, isn't it, this video? Stop. Stop. Oh! <laughs> I thought it was going to go in. <laughs> it, looked all, it looked all over it all the way. It's a four, it's a par. I'm going firm. I'd go firm, mate. Downhill left to right. You want to make sure it gets to the hole. I'll give you that, pal. We're not going to see that in from there. Let's get these balls cut open and let's see exactly what the differences are. So most of us by now probably know what a Pro V1 looks like, but for the sake of you that don't, three-piece urethane ball, so we'll see quite a big core of urethane cover and an outer shell there. So green inside, a little bit of a darker outer core, that second layer, and then urethane cover there. Now, these balls, which are what potentially we might be seeing moving forward in 20, 30. Be very careful there not to take my fingers off. We'll start to see potentially a different core, a different material in the core, different number of layers. And that's just a two piece ball, as you can see there. So we have just the cover and then an inner. Guys, get in the comments below. What do you think the differences are going to be moving forward in 2030? Get in the comments below and let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all at the same time tomorrow. Here are the numbers. So guys, as you can imagine, I hit loads of drivers in the studio using the 2023 Pro V1 and the old school Bellata ball. There was quite a big difference in ball speed. The big thing that surprised me was just how much spin we generated with the old school Bellata. So you can see eight yards difference in carry and 10 yards difference in total. Is that where we're gonna be looking in 2030? Are they gonna rein it back that far? What's gonna happen, guys? Get in the comments below and let me know. The golf balls come on leaps and bounds. It'd be such a shame to see it go all the way back.